Hi, everybody. I just wanted to come on today and continue my series on spirit teachings and spiritual inspirations. This is video number 10. Today, I'll be working with this book. Got it? Okay. Wisdom of Ramadan by Ursula Roberts, compiled by Audrey Ward. This book is an amazing book. I've actually read it before. Um, and Ramadan was the spirit guide of Ursula Roberts. And this book is basically questions that were given to Ramadan. And he answered as Ursula Roberts was in a trance state. So it's trance speaking, basically. A lot of these questions I've had about the spirit world and the workings of our lives in the spiritual realm and the physical realm. Um, so I would like to read two passages from this book today. Hopefully I'll get to both because um, they're fascinating, I find, and they they resonated with me. Um, Ursula Roberts was an amazing medium. She has a few books that I believe are available still. She didn't pass too long ago. She passed in the 1980s um, on mediumship, the subject of mediumship, how to improve your clairs, how to um, find the spirit within. And she also, there's a book, I don't know if it's still available. It's It's through her hand, so it's through automatic writing. And it's called I Knew Moses. And it's a book that basically is the story written through Ursula Roberts from um, the spirit person who was a companion to Moses in ancient Egypt. And it's just a beautiful read and um, quite amazing what comes out. It's a whole story about Moses's life and, and um, it, it creates a beautiful picture of ancient Egypt. Okay, so these two questions I would like to read and get to today. Okay, so the first question that was given to Ramadan that I'd like to read today, it's quite a simple question, but the answer I find um, we all might have trouble sometimes uh, figuring out what the answer could be. So the question is basically, what is one's own identity? And Ramadan answers, your identity is the core which lies at the center of your soul. Your mental and emotion bodies have absorbed radiations from the men and women who have surrounded you. And as you go into your inner search for self-realization, you must discover how much of your outer personality is that imposed upon you by your parents, which part you absorb from your teachers and those you have loved. When you have understood this, you may find deep within that there is another part of yourself, that which sought knowledge and reached out in desire for love and understanding, that inner part. This is your real self. Spiritual development, the unfoldment of spiritual understanding becomes in essence a search to discover your own real self. Okay, so this I love. And it's something that I, I really believe in that I believe we have our true spirit essence, and that is this eternal and infinite spirit being that resides within our physical form for a short time here in the matter world. And our spirit uses this physical form that we all walk around in um, to express itself in the matter world. Your spirit is centered, it's calm, it's indestructible, and when you leave this physical realm, your spirit will leave and return home to the spirit realm unscathed and whole. Okay. So that part of us is, is pretty protected from all of the outside stuff. But because we're also working through the mental mind and emotions, we absorb a lot of things throughout our lives and we bring in a lot of other people's energy, um, belief systems. And that is the point, as Ramadan said, of spiritual development. And this awakening, the spiritual awakening, is to rediscover our true selves, okay? So a lot of times I find we move through our lives with these reactions to the outside world through our senses, right? A lot of these reactions come from the past, come from our own past experiences, our own traumas, our own hurts. But these are just vibrations that are in our consciousness, our, our physical consciousness. But this, in effect, is not reality when you think about 
this the spirit realm and the spiritual truths that we are whole and we are protected and we are perfect but because we are in the physical realm and we are living in the vibration of the matter world all of these things all of your reactions all of your emotions all of this unrealized self like um hurt this unrealized self-healing that we should be doing that we react like this and we we look at the world through our emotional selves not so much our spiritual selves so it's important when a situation pops up in front of you which it will we are here to learn we are here to understand that this realm this physical realm it's a classroom it's how we're supposed to learn it's how we're supposed to move back to the original truth which is our spirit which is divine but things that start to upset you and you start to perhaps panic or go into anxiety attack or get angry or get hostile um these are reactions that are just ingrained in your consciousness right so but in effect it's not really the reality of what's going at the, at the time it, it, in any way that's how i how i judge it right so if something happens to me um that sets me off that just immediately get upset i immediately get frustrated and no one can come to my rescue at all i have to stop and look at what's in front of me and usually if i look at the situation in front of me yes it might be annoying yes it might be something i don't want to deal with but a lot of times that reaction is not coming from what's in front of me it's coming it's it's sort of triggering something inside of me not being seen not being heard um something i haven't healed through um maybe looking at myself that i'm not worthy i don't know that goes on and on and on but if we move into our true selves which is our spirit and just look at the situation and think about okay is this really that bad what can i do to just move through this there is another side to this everything that's happening to me right now is for the greatest possible good and only good will come from the situation just some sort of mantra or mantra that you have to sort of adopt to help you through these situations and you'll see breathe breathing is very important just stop before you start to spin out and all this emotional baggage and garbage really starts to get activated and just breathe through it and you'll feel yourself relaxing or ask the spirit world, ask them, bring me peace, bring me peace from within. And you'll feel this peace and calm being channeled to you. And they will help you see that all might look dire through your emotions and through your reactions, but in reality, it's all fine. Okay. So I do believe that's what Ramadan is really talking about, that the more we move down this path of spiritual understanding and examining ourselves and examining our reactions and our emotions we can start to separate our true selves which is our spirit essence and our spirit consciousness from our physical selves or ourselves in the now which is run by emotion and reactions and whatever you've absorbed from anyone around you throughout your entire life well-meaning or not okay everyone we come in contact to has an effect on us right so what i've learned a long time ago and i'm not 100 percent successful with this at all but i try is i i try to observe situations and not absorb them that i think is, is a key point for any empath is just observe the situation and if you if you're talking to somebody and they're really stressed and they're really anxious and you you're like okay i gotta go bye and you walk away and you feel like oh god now i feel so anxious i feel so nervous just try to stop yourself and say okay that's not mine this is not mine and i do believe the second you shine light on something it starts to dissipate okay so but i do believe this can also work as i mentioned before when you have reactions to just certain situations that might trigger things inside of you from your childhood from your young adulthood or even from yesterday it doesn't matter well we have to heal through everything um and what you're reacting to it's usually not the reality 
right? So usually the 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 the, the scope of the reaction usually does not equal um, the scope of what's happening to you, overreacting, right? Being too sensitive, these things. So, um, but go into yourself and just move, try to move closer to your own spirit. And it really, if you can move there, because I, I feel it's sort of in the center of our chest. Um, if you can move closer to your own spirit, your spirit is always calm. Your spirit is always centered. There's a sense of peace, right? And then as the spirit, as you know, the spirit is here and then everything else sort of surrounds it. All of our thoughts, all of our emotions, all of our memories, all of our reactions. Um, so it's sort of kind of trying to get to the core of yourself and all of this stuff trying to move through. Look, we're, we're human, so we're always going to have emotions and that's fine, we're supposed to, right? But when they become, when they become a detriment to your development and to your unfoldment, I think you have to really face them and say, oh, okay, so this has nothing to do with what's in front of me. It's just kicking up a lot of stuff um, that made me feel bad about myself or things that people said about me or to me. Um, but this has nothing to do with me. Whatever, what anyone else thinks about me is really not my business. And um, everyone I find is quite free to give their opinions, but I don't have to really take them in, right? Um, your parents, most likely you're picking, you also pick up trauma and um, worry from your parents. That's normal because they're raising us. And I don't, I feel most of the times it's, it's not meant in a bad way. It's just something because we're in their orbit, orbit. So of course we're absorbing it, but your parents' issues and phobias and traumas um, are theirs, right? And you have to, at some point, take responsibility for your own path say that is not me that's coming from my upbringing or if you feel there's generational healing to do then that's fine then go back and you can send healing back generations upon generations way back way back and you heal from the origin and move it forward um, but there are many things you can do to sort of help this trauma that you might be holding from your parents from relationships um personal relationships or work relationships, friendships, doesn't matter. We take this all in. So just think about what's in your energy. That I guess is the point of this, that all of that is in your energy and in your, in your, in your conscious energy. So, but at the core, we're completely pure and whole and still. So think about all of that when you're going through your awakening, um, down your spiritual path, that's sort of the point of this. So a lot of people, they're like, oh God, I didn't know all of this stuff was going to come popping up and, and get, you know, the dust was going to rise with all of these things that I, I don't want to deal with and didn't even know I had to deal with as you move forward on your path. But that's the point. Um, the spiritual awakening and enlightenment, I find it's like this mirror and it just follows you, right? And it really lets you see your reactions and your thought processes and all of this. But that's the point because they have to, the spirit world, I feel in their in their wisdom, they have to have a clear and pure vessel to work through. And all of these things, these emotions, these traumas, as I've said a few times, that, that it, it clouds you and it clouds your energy. So don't be afraid of this not really talked about side effect of, of the awakening and, and the, the, the unfoldment path which is it brings up all of these things but they're being brought up so you can clear them and you can heal through them and you can move back to your center move back to your to self okay which is always at peace always calm because your spirit at the end of the day knows that it cannot die your spirit has this ingrained wisdom that it will not be destroyed. It's energy. Energy cannot be destroyed. It just changes form. So that I find once you remove the fear of death from any being, it's, it's calm and it's at peace. 
And it goes on and on through eternity and eternity in different levels of consciousness and development and progression. And this is just one step. This is only one step. I'm not sure if it's the first step. I'm not sure if it's the last step or somewhere in between. But I know it's just a step in a long, long process of progression. Okay? So learn what you can and heal what you can. And you will see your progression and your evolution become easier it will flow because it won't be blocked by these reactions and these memories and these things that we have just attached to us that we need to move through okay so that's that one i like i do like that question answer i have to say because it's something i really do think about a lot but like my true self who is who is who's the real me because so much of life um you know just clouds us. So it's really the reactions to life. Okay. So the next question, I'm going to try to move fast. I don't want, I don't want to make this video too long. So the next question that was given to Ramadan, it, he made, he, he talked about this point in another question, but I just, here's where he explains um, what he meant. So the question is, you spoke once of the law of harmonious relationships, harmonious relationships. What does this mean? Okay, so in Ramadan answered, the law of harmonious relationships is to be found in the twisting of the ropes bonded by thought and by love. As each soul moves into higher regions of the spirit, no one can go alone. For always they draw another after them or take another with them. This is surely the laws of life. Even so, it is for you upon earth as you move forward in your development and as your unfoldment of your soul continues because of the twisting of the chains and threads of relationships and that inevitably you lift someone else one step higher as you move forward and they in their turn bring another with them and so this is the law of harmonious relationships this linking together of all joy and peace means the slow but steady forward movement of souls through experience higher and higher into every increasing region of light, love, and harmony, okay? So I find the laws of harmonious relationships, I love this because it really talks about, of course, your spiritual progression, of course, your growth and your enlightenment and illumination and all of these things that come from the sacred path that we are all on, of course it will benefit you. Of course it will help you, but you will have always someone that you will lift up with you. You will always use this enlightenment and illumination and progression to help someone else. We are all connected. We are all threads wound together, right? So if I progress, you should progress, right? And we bring people with us. So think about that when you're studying and when you're learning, maybe perhaps you're spiritualizing yourself and finding the divine power from within and realize that the point of all life is to have compassion, love, tolerance, and want the best for all living beings, all of these things, all of these, oh, oh, oh awakening belief systems that really build as you spiritually progress that will help other people and then other people will begin to awaken and then as we progress we will take them with us i always think about that and all the work that i do and all of the beautiful people i have the honor and pleasure of working with i'm like just come with me come it's not easy this path is not easy but if we all move together and we all help each other then you will then help other people and those people will help other people and slowly we'll start to build this momentum of progression and enlightenment as we move up that's the point is to move up this progression to move up into different regions of progression and enlightenment that's really the point and i don't really know if there's an end to that and i don't know if earth is the the first sort of wrong or um you know stay step on this path towards progression i'm really not sure but when we move up other people come with us 
And I'm, I believe that's really, if we can just plant a seed in people's minds, it has to germinate on their own. Everyone has um, free will to do what they want. But a lot of times when that seed starts to grow, then they move up and then they open the door for other people. Okay. Because we're all threads of a rope wound together with love and compassion. And that rope with all of the threads entwined, strong and working together to create a strength, that rope is, you cannot destroy this rope, right? So the harmonious relationships, I believe, are really about as I care about my own progression and my own evolution and I work really hard at it. I'm doing it for me and my spirit and my life, but I'm equally doing it for other people to come with me that I can help lift them up and they will help other people lift them lift. They will help other people be lifted and we will do this all together. Okay. So at the end of the day, I do feel that humanity is the savior. The savior of humanity will be um, this concept of harmonious relationships that we all are in this together and we all have to lift each other up. Um, and I do believe that's it's slowly happening, perhaps in, in the shadows at the moment, but it is moving forward. And um, like, I'm sure if I just ask anyone watching, I don't think it's coincidence that there's this uptick in um, interest in um, mediumship and healing in um, just spiritualizing yourself. There's uh, this momentum building that's, moving across the planet around the globe to really be enlightened and to be awakened and i do believe this will continue to build as we go um, as we move forward and we're just one part of that chain we're just one link in that chain but it's an important link um and don't forget that all the love and all the power and all the peace that we receive from spirit it's all meant to be shared it's all meant to be given freely and lovingly to whoever will accept it, okay? Your spiritual abilities, your gifts are meant to be shared. They're meant to help people. That's the point. We're here to be of service to each other. And I do believe that's really what harmonious relationships is, to be of service to one another, to help one another, to be of service to humanity and all living beings, okay? So think about that. Think about as you awaken, and as you progress and evolve, you're opening the door and you're giving a helping hand to someone who's right behind you. And then those people will help other people and so on and so forth, okay? So those are the two question and answers from Wisdom of Ramadan by Ursula Roberts that I want to read today. I hope they resonated with you. I will do more from this book for sure. I wish everyone a lovely day and I will see you soon, bye.